Hello everyone, Ron here from RJJ's Reactions and back with Nine Inch Nails and the third track from Pretty Hate Machine and it's called Down In It and we know that uh, Nine Inch Nails can be uh, pretty loud, pretty heavy, uh, but very interesting, very interesting and the lyrics are also very interesting. Trent Reznor writes the lyrics. I believe that he wrote these very early on. So let's have a listen and then we'll have a look at the lyrics separately. Here we go. Great beat and uh, young Trent Reznor seems to be running from a lot of things here so I'm not sure we're going to go through the lyrics afterwards. It seems to be about a relationship by the sound of it uh, in part but I think there could be other things going on too and uh, what is he running away from or is he running towards something? Uh, let's continue on but I really love the sound. <laughs> anything but I don't want the ads to pop up either so I'll stop there. At the end it, it sort of sounded like na 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 like the, the like children right na 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 something like that. Uh, it's been a long time since I've been a child. Uh, I work with children all the time but I 
Students I work with don't usually do that, but <laughs> well, not with me anyway. Uh, but it did sound sort of childlike, and it, and then it came right after the, the you know the little rhyme, "Rain, rain, go away." Uh, so I think maybe that was done deliberately. We'll have a look at the lyrics in a minute. Really loved the video; it was fun. Uh, you know, lots going on. Uh, and really. Uh, not quite sure how to interpret it, but you know it was interesting to watch the band members, and particularly Trent was running here, there, and everywhere. Uh, felt like kind of trying to escape, maybe escape from himself. I think I caught a few of the lyrics, and uh, so that could be it too. Uh, great voice too. I, I liked it. I know it's an official video, so you know they can do whatever. But I've heard him live, and I I like the way he sings. Uh, he 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 doesn't have a, a stereotypical singer's voice like uh, some of the crooners or whatever but I mean he, he does have a good voice for and, and, he, and he knows how to use it for the kind of music that he does and loves and, and so that's important and, and he's always committed to his music so that's good too. Let's have a look at the lyrics now. Down in it by Nine Inch Nails. Um, see if we can make uh, some meaning out of the title, now I'm down in it, now I'm down in it. Kind of like a cloud, I was up way up in the sky and I was feeling some feelings you wouldn't believe. Sometimes I don't believe them myself. And I decided I was never coming down. Just then a tiny little dot caught my eye. It was just about too small to see, but I watched it way too long. It was pulling me down. So, several ways this could be read. Later on in the lyrics, I, I picked up that it sounded like it could be about a relationship, but it could be about other things too. I think it could be about growing up um, and changing as you as you change. Um, and again, a lot of that comes from later in the lyrics. I wouldn't have caught it at this point, um, but listening to the song, I picked up quite a few of the lyrics. You could hear them in the song fairly clearly. Uh, so yeah, sometimes you're way up there. You feel you feel powerful. You feel strong. You feel like you've got it all under control. Um, but then later, you, you almost can't recognize that self that, that you had when you were in your younger years. And I did read that this was an early song that he wrote. I was up above it. I was up above it. So down in it and up above it uh, might just be referring to, uh, I, ha I hesitate to say real life, because what's real? You could argue about that philosophically forever. But... In a, you know, in a colloquial way at, at any rate. Uh, yeah, sometimes when you're a teenager or a young person, you feel like you're up above it, right? You're not worried about all that old, old people crap, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, you're, you're never going to be like them. You're going to be, you already are, and you're way better than your parents, your grandparents, and all those old fogies, you know? <laughs> That's how you feel sometimes anyway. Shut up. So what? What does it matter now? I was swimming in the haze. Now I crawl on the ground. And everything I never liked about you is kind of seeping into me. I try to laugh about it now, but isn't it funny how everything works out? I guess the joke's on me, she said. That's where I thought, okay, this may also have something to do with a relationship. And uh, the relationship seems so amazing and you're way high in the sky and you're walking on air and nothing could ever go wrong. And especially if you're both really young, you're both invincible and all powerful. And, <laughs> and you swimming in the haze, you know, isn't this beautiful? Uh, it, could, it could refer to drugs too, it could, you know, if you're high. Uh, but now I crawl on the ground. Yeah, you've been brought down to reality, as I mentioned before. Um, and it can be a crashing fall sometimes. He mentioned that dot he saw in the sky that was too small to see. Could be a flaw, could be just reality kicking in sometimes it's going to kick the daylights out of you that's that's life you know the, the good the bad and the ugly but um, yeah it could refer to a number of things and everything i never liked about is kind of seeping into me uh isn't it funny how things work out yeah yes and no i don't know how funny it is and do things work out hmm. we work through them or around them or under or above them whatever <laughs> so if you survive it if you're still alive then it kind of works out but did it really work out or you just we just have to find a way to move forward so it's not necessarily that it actually works out we always reinterpret things as we move along so it seems like it worked out but it could have gone another trajectory which might have been even better but let's not think about that 
Uh, I was up above it, now I'm down in it. Yeah. I used to be so big and strong, I used to know my right from wrong. So this is another key that I heard in the song that thinking it's about growing up, it's about changing when you're young and you think you're big and strong, you think you know right from wrong. Uh, I used to never be afraid. I used to be somebody, so sometimes you feel that way. I think particularly in your teenage years. Uh, personally, I had a mixture of both that, but then there was the, the swing side of complete terror uh, of not knowing who I was, but it's different for everybody. I certainly knew a lot of uh, teenagers at that time that thought they were somebody. I used to have something inside. Now just this hole, it's open wide. I used to want it all. I used to be somebody. Yeah, you either think you are somebody or at least you think you're going to become somebody. You know, you're going to do something famous. Lots and lots of people, young people, even older people sometimes, but especially young people. You know, you're going to be a famous basketball player, or hockey player. I'm in Canada, right? <laughs> and, uh, or a famous singer or an artist or they're going to be something famous. No matter what it is, they're going to be the best at it. And then, you know, some of them might make it. You never know. Uh, I'll cross my heart, I'll hope to die. So again, sort of going back to a nursery rhyme there. But the needle's already in my eye. So he's already seen what's out there, what's coming. He's been brought down from that haze or that cloud. And all the world's weight is on my back and I don't even know why. What I used to think was me is just a fading memory. I looked him right in the eye and said goodbye. Uh, so yeah, the past you. Uh, kind of fades as time moves on and sometimes when I look back at various decades of my life because I've got a fair bit to look back on uh, I know it's me because I have the memories and everything but in another way it almost feels like it was a different person altogether is that really me because it's it's the same but not the same in the same breath so I, I understand that idea it's not really the me I was I'm not really the me I was now Sometimes you feel like all the world's a weight on your back, particularly when you first come down out of that cloud, maybe. Uh, you know, it's, it's more powerful, it's more obvious at that point until you've made those adjustments. Uh, I was up above it, now I'm down in it. And then rain, rain, go away, come again some other day. So, <clears throat> you know, the, the sadness, the depression, the uh, whatever's hurting you, you know, go away, come back, we'll deal with this another time. And then uh, I was up, up, up above it. Now I'm down in it, now I'm down in it. So very good. Um, I was going to say something here, I almost forgot. I looked him right in the eye and said goodbye. I'm not sure who the him is. Now it could be the, the, the girl in the relationship, but it could also be interpreted, because there are a couple of lines in here that could come from the Bible. Um, and it, it could be interpreted as saying goodbye to uh, having that belief when you're up in the clouds and you think you know everything and you think you know right from wrong. That is a religious idea that, you know, there is no gray area uh, because God says so, right? But then you find out, guess what? You Maybe you're not as confident in what's right or wrong. Maybe you're not as confident in how powerful and knowledgeable and wonderful you are. Uh, but I will say on a more positive note, if you're, if you're concerned about those sorts of things, the complexity of you, the complexity of the world, the intricacy, uh, that's even more amazing and more wonderful than either a God or a perfect you. Uh, I think that actually there's a lot more to be gained by being the natural you and live in the natural world. Really good lyrics, uh, excellent actually, and the song was good, the video was great. Uh, I really liked Trent's voice and uh, I really liked the beat, I liked all the music uh, throughout the video. It was, it was really good, it was really energetic, wasn't it? Um, I, I could jog to that, I jogged earlier this morning, so <laughs> I don't, I don't, I'm not going to go again. But uh, Plus, I don't actually wear anything in my ears when I'm out walking or jogging or anything else. Actually, never, except when I'm doing my reaction videos or maybe sitting down and listening to music, but then I don't usually have headphones on either. All right, it's Ron from RJJ's Reactions. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that uh, video. Let me know, let me know what else you would like to hear from Nine Inch Nails or anyone else. Bye-bye for now.